using conversion factors, using units to convert one quantity into another. What is a conversion factor? Conversion factor is a ratio that is multiplied by the quantity you have in the units you're given to produce the quantity in the units that you want. The simplest way to use conversion factors is to convert one unit into another that measures the same kind of quantity, like a unit of length into another unit of length. An example of this is converting miles into kilometers. To set up a conversion factor, start by writing the quantity you are given with the units and a ratio form, which will become the conversion factor. We then set that equal to the units we want to get. Let's convert 25 miles into kilometers. Our given quantity is 25 miles. The ratio form is a set of parentheses with a line separating the numerator and denominator. And that is equal to an unknown number of kilometers. Next, we place the unit we want to get rid of in the denominator of the ratio. In this case, we want to get rid of miles. So miles goes in the denominator. The unit we want to have goes in the numerator. Now we need the relationship between miles and kilometers, what I call the equivalence relationship. For miles and kilometers, 1.000 miles equals 1.609 kilometers. We place the number with the units to which it belongs. So 1.000 goes with the miles, and 1.609 goes with the kilometers. Then we just do the math to find the answer. 25 miles times 1.609 kilometers divided by 1.000 miles gives 40.225 kilometers. Now let's convert 25 kilometers into miles. The equivalence relationship is still the same between miles and kilometers. So 1.00 miles equals 1.609 kilometers. We start with the given quantity, 25 kilometers. Then we add the ratio form and what we are trying to find. The unit kilometers goes in the denominator because we need to cancel it out and the unit miles goes in the numerator. The number from the equivalence relationship go with their units. 1.609 kilometers, 1.000 miles. Then we just do the math to find the answer. 25 kilometers times 1.000 miles divided by 1.609 kilometers equals 15.538 miles. Suppose we want to convert 1.000 meters into inches. Our equivalences are 1.00 inch equals 2.540 centimeters, 100 centimeters equals 1.000 meters. We have two ways to do this. First, we can try to produce a single conversion factor by combining the two equivalence relationships. Or, we can use two conversion factors. Let's do the two conversion factors method.
we write the given quantity, 1.000 meters, two ratio forms, and what we want to get, inches. In the first ratio form, we enter meters in the denominator to cancel out meters, and centimeters in the numerator because that is the other unit in the equivalence relationship involving meters. <laughs> because meters have canceled out, the unit is now centimeters. We want inches, so centimeters goes in the denominator of the second ratio form to cancel out the centimeters. And the other unit of the second equivalence relationship, inches, goes in the numerator of the second ratio form. We cannot use the meter relationship because we would get meters back for the units of our answer, while we want inches. Then we add the numbers to the units. 100 centimeters, 1 meter, 1 inch, 2.54 centimeters. And calculate the answer. 1.000 meters times 100.0 centimeters divided by 1.000 meters times 1.000 inches divided by 2.540 centimeters equals 39.370 inches. Here are two problems to think about. The first problem asks you to convert the area, 225 square centimeters, into square meters and gives the equivalence relationship 100 centimeters equals 1.00 meters. Think about how you would deal with the square of the unit in the conversion factor. The second problem asks you how you would convert the unit kilometers per hour that is, kilometers over hours, into the unit meters per second, that is, meters over seconds. That gives three equivalence relationships. 1,000 meters equals 1.000 kilometers, one hour equals 60 minutes, and one minute equals 60 seconds. Think about how you would write a conversion factor or factors that would cancel out the per hour and leave per second. You can pause the video while you write down the information. 